Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. There is a collective reading up on, um, in the videos, um, goes through all 12 zodiac signs. So if you're looking for um, maybe a reading for another sign, check that collective reading out. It's really good. All right, so let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, um, what we're going to do here in this reading is, okay, so I've been getting a lot of people aren't sure about exes or people coming back or resurfacing okay now this could be romantic ex this could be ex friendship let's just talk about people showing up and what is their agenda in the aquarius life keep in mind this is a general reading it may resonate it may not get your own personal reading they are on sale um go over to the community tab get a discount code and then head over to the website and book your own reading all right so let's get into it Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message. I'm not sure if I prayed or not. Two prayers won't hurt nobody. Right. Let's see. Um, can you tell us about if there is anyone coming back from the past? Anyone resurfacing in Aquarius life? Anyone showing up for the Aquarius? Let's see. All right. Yes, eight of wands. So this is somebody who's trying to manifest you. Law of attraction could even be infatuated with you. Could be um, a Sagittarius. Could be anybody here. Someone who you had a lot of chemistry with, who you felt like the relationship was perfect. But in the temperance card, it says that things are going to stay consistent. Uh, they're going to take the middle ground here. They're going to try to come back and salvage the relationship and whatever relationship you had initially that's the one that they want back the eight of wands so there could be lust infatuation um, things could have happened really quickly for you and this person they could just be coming back because um they could be kind of some type of obsession with you this is also talks about conclusion this talks about stating you know intentions so the advice here would be Aquarius, when this person resurfaces, make them state what they intend to do or for what they intend the relationship to be. What are their intentions? You know, make them state their intentions. And then, you know, if you guys are not seeing eye to eye, if this is not what you want, Aquarius, then you need to conclude. This needs to this needs to end. OK, there needs to be some type of conclusion here drawn about this person about this relationship don't try to make it something that it is not for some of you the eight of wands it talks about obstacles being removed this person could try to come back to you because they're saying that what was in the way of you guys being together is now gone they could have gotten rid rid of someone or rid of a relationship or rid of debt rid of they could have gotten rid of anything right and now they feel like they are ready for a connection here can you clarify the eight of wands in terms of a person showing up for the aquarius also with this being an eight it could have been a you know highly sexual connection but there was a lot of mi mystery a lot of mystery either on your part or on the other person's part there's also mystery about you know this person's money their money matters it could have been a mystery about yours also um there could have been lack of intimacy like you guys weren't able to be vulnerable with one another or the aquarius was vulnerable and the other person wasn't or the other person was vulnerable and the aquarius wasn't so it's like um that's why it was kind of cyclical also this is a relationship where it just went around around just in a circle imagine walking in a circle you're not going anywhere you're just going in a circle and that was the relationship you know just going nowhere fast um let's see there also could have been some trauma bonding you know maybe you met during the when the pandemic you know uh, first happened you know um you met when something bad happened to you or something bad happened to them and, you know kind of bonded you two together once the trauma is gone or once someone has you know um sought help 
got help. Uh, the connection is kind of gone. Once the pandemic was over or, you know, the fear of, of what's next, the connection was kind of gone. The fizzle, the fizzled out. This could have been a secret connection too. You know, like somebody sneaking around. Uh, yeah, somebody sneaking around. It was fun to sneak around. It was fun to be doing something behind my person's back. What do they say? Stolen waters are sweeter. They aren't. But that's what the evil says. That's what the wicked say. So um, that could have gotten old real fast. Like, I, I can't, you know, continue to do this. There's no growth here. Clarify the eight of wands. Clarify the eight of wands for this person resurfacing. All right. Let's see. Eight of wands. Okay. They say go to the advice. They don't even want to clarify. All right. What's the advice for Aquarius if this person shows back up? What's the advice for Aquarius? All right. The Ten of Cups. Um, in the war, you know, this is calling the truce here. So you don't have to be upset with this person anymore. You don't have to be frustrated with this energy anymore. Um, you can let down your defenses. You can clear this, clear this energy. Um, this is emotion. So this is like the release of emotion here. You can let down the negative emotions that you harbor or hold for this person or this connection. But this doesn't say that you need to reconcile or come back together. It just says that, you know, after all of this difficulty of this relationship, you're going to have a level of fortune. Um, are you going to be fortunate, especially once you um, release here, once you call the truce? Because um, you and this person could be at war, you know, or more so it's just not good between the two of you. Um, this also talks about uh, clearing the air in the Eight of Wands. So you're going to clear the air and come to a place of, you know, accepting uh, this person where they are. Uh, what is what is the next action Aquarius should take if this person um, okay the king of cups so stay balanced in your emotions some of you you're gonna be happy that this person comes back and maybe apologizes because now you have you have the power the power has shifted to you with the six of pentacles here um yeah, the power dynamic has shifted. Maybe in the past you felt like they had all the power. You were waiting for this. You were stuck on them. You were waiting for their call, waiting for them to reach out, waiting for them to make plans, waiting, waiting, waiting. You were waiting like in the six of pentacles, it's a beggar and then there's a, the giver. Now it seems as if it has shifted. Now this person is waiting for you to make the move, waiting for you, waiting, you know, you have the power now. It says remain. Um, balance also the king of cups knows how to deal with all emotions too um the king of cups is more so focused on business and business matters the business of the king of cups um this is the most uh giving loving king also it says this is a uh, you need to be focused on something else too you know don't just solely be focused on this person solely be focused on maybe um reconnecting you also need to what is this king of cups what is that in action the four of pentacles yeah so you just need to govern yourself accordingly you need to kind of shut a, every door to this person doesn't need to be open because they apologize because they want to make amends because they're coming back with their tail between their legs you still need to Four of Pentacles talks about being going solo, you know, uh, it says being closed, but you also need to be open to healing those deep seated issues that maybe this person helped cause within you. You need to let go. You need to release. Don't let that dominate you. Don't let that possess you. Um, with the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, it just talks about release, release, release. Uh, of the toxicity of the stagnation. Um, also, you need to know that maybe somebody may be coming back to try to dominate, possess you. They look at you as a possession and they may be coming back trying to get you stuck. 
in that toxic cycle again that has no growth with the four of pentacles here they want you right where you are they like how it used to be and they could be coming back to um you know um this looks like kind of like love bombing with the king of cups and the four of pentacles it's like love bombing you to stay right where you are you know um what does this person want with the Aquarius? What does this person want with the Aquarius? The Ten of Pentacles. So this person may want you for a lifetime. You know, they always want you there. They could want to marry you. Uh, they feel like they will be marrying into stability, marrying into money. Um, they want things to just stay consistent, um, stay where they are. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit. Uh, they could be coming back and saying that they had a change of personality. You had the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. There could be somebody coming back saying they want to make something real. You know, they realize your your worth, your value. But I'm still getting a bit of apprehension on the Aquarius side. It might be too little, too late, or too much, too late. Um, with the... Uh, hermit card they may be coming back and saying they realize something they went on the self-discovery journey there's a change that has been made within them just because something has been illuminated within them they've looked at past experience they want to come back they learned something definitely learned something growth and philosophy rest with this person now like they have gone and you know uh uncovered what should the aquarius do what should the Aquarius do? What should the Aquarius do? This could be somebody you have children with. Three of Pentacles in the Death card. This is your action. This is what you should do. It says work, work. Definite change. Six of Wands. Think about this before you uh, re-engage Aquarius. Should Aquarius give this person a chance? I heard it's going to be different for all Aquarius, but should Aquarius give this person a chance? I knew it. Uh, maybe the Four of Swords because the Ten of Swords. It's like you already know what this person brings. You already know what can happen here. You already know that this is could be a test and a trial of your faith, of your tenacity, of your moving forward, of you releasing old baggage and coming out of this um, this very uh, turbulent place. Somebody also can deal with the fact that you just don't want to deal with them anymore. The Ten of Swords talks about the inability to cope with. So they can't cope with the fact that you just are done. Six of Wands talks about maybe choosing yourself, strutting your stuff, walking off and strutting your stuff, not engaging in the pettiness, the, the love affair. The death card specifically talks about the end of a relationship, but going from one dynamic to the next. So maybe the advice here is for you to just to continue on the path that you're on, especially if it's one of, you know, rebuilding, regaining, um, you're getting recognition maybe even in your work life or at work or with your business. It says you're doing the right thing because you have that um, masculine, feminine energy with the divine spark. So divinity is holding all of this together. Therefore, you're able to create some high quality products, service. You're at a place, Aquarius, where things um, just look great for you. They look up for you. Things are going up. And it says you just need to be focused on you. This is a lot of maybe um, you also need to let that that aspect about yourself and your personality maybe for a feminine energy. Also, um, what you are rooted to or this person having roots on you or, or feeling like they had, you know, they have this um, attachment to you. You need to let it die and you need to choose yourself for once. That's what the advice is here. Uh, for some of you, you got a maybe in terms of should you deal or should you not? You're going to have to.
pull cards for yourself get your own personal reading i don't know um but for some of you this is just a trial this is a test this is um a test of you have you really changed you know are you going to allow this to happen again um the four of swords talks about thinking about the future making plans for the future the ten of swords says that something is over it's done with the completion the fullness of a thing no capacity you may say you just don't have any this person could have hurt you too bad betrayed you there's too much said done for some of you it's just going to be um a, a real definite no some of you are will uh think about this you know let's see what the cards have to what these other cards have to say why is this person wanting aquarius back so badly wow they that's what i said it they they see your value now they like went and they saw what they made for themselves or who they gave their time their energy their love to they want to marry you this talks about engagement ring they see your true value that you're a true gem but for some of you it's just too late uh why does this person want aquarius back so badly i knew it some of you have children with this person or they want to have children with you some of you they see that now you're focused on you beauty fashion your business you're not really engaging with them so it's making you desirable irresistible they can't ignore you now because you're ignoring them isn't that crazy they can't ignore you because you're ignoring them hmm passion yeah they they it's just like they need you it's like look how this guy holds on to her and how he's grasping her it's like everything in you it's like almost like a high priestess energy like they have found that the love the desire the passion the compassion between the two of you is just something unmatched you haven't found it anywhere else what you possess inside of you you know your heart why does this person really want Aquarius back they also could want to reconcile renew um they may be coming back saying that they're renewed or something about them is new new love they could also see that you have new love it could just be new love for yourself they're seeing that you're a completely different person and this is driving them to come towards you why is this person wanting to come back to the aquarius so badly friendship it's like they need this they need that aspect they need the love they need the passion they just want to make amends also uh, they want to be in your life in any capacity even if it's just being your friend they want the opportunity to have access to you they don't like not having act you not being accessible you know they don't like this like i can't pick up the phone and text aquarius yeah they want to be able to access you they want to be able to you know always come back around they went away from you and realized that there's nothing better than you they had a lot of different lovers or a lot of different people they could be wanting to come back to you because there's a lot a lot of gossip surrounding you right now maybe of who you're dating or what you're doing or how you're doing it or how you look or this could even be the spiritual realm talking to them telling them about the moves you're about to make prompting them to come towards you yep they're getting some enlightenment about you they could be fair-skinned they're getting some enlightenment about you because they were in the dark. They're getting their karma too. And it's like they're being prompted to come to you and um, make amends. They could be coming back to you because they know something's telling them that you're coming into money. 
they're coming back to you because they know that you have somebody else and you'll have a lot of different suitors and they're they're willing to just be in the ring they just want to be in the ring the universe put them out of your life for a reason put obstacles in the way between you two so that you can focus on you and then focus on themselves or however they're doing it but now they want to resurface because those that their spirit guides are talking to them and telling them that you're about to really be on your platform in your life whatever platform that is you're going to make some big moves you're going to get a lot of exposure or you're getting a lot of exposure this person could come back to you they see you posting they see you looking great feeling great living life you're taking center stage in your life you're coming into a new way of existing they want to be a part of it this is somebody who they could want to ride your coattails they could but at the same time I, I think this is somebody who's being prompted also to you know how you know the word will say that um, I'll make your enemies your footstools it's like that you and this person were at war because that's how we, it came up initially. It's funny I say war. You know, not a physical war like you, you see them and you just kind of like haul off and punch them. No. But, you know, it was like you knew that this person didn't have your best intentions at heart. You knew that they didn't mean you any good. You know, you knew that <clears throat> they were a snake that behind your back they said this or they did that or they were... You know, they just kept up a lot of negativity and they wanted to keep you right where you are. They don't like that you're changing into the person that you're changing into. Um, it looks like they, they got to bow down. Aquarius, you may be joining into a group of people who will help you further your plans for your life whether they be career or love related some of you need to have a dietary change um if you find that there is bloat there is gas you may be i heard lactose intolerant even if it's coming later for you in life you used to be able to stomach dairy or dairy products that could be veganism pescatarianism uh vegetarianism you know or it could just be you governing what you eat just a little closely a little better what is this about get some rest some of you you're sleeping but you're not resting it's just like constant thoughts over and over and over again some of you, your schedule, your sleeping schedule is mixed up or backwards or you're not getting to sleep until three in the morning and, or you're not waking up until late. I don't know. It's just something is off. You could work overnight too. Um, <clears throat> you're doing a lot right now. You're trying to bring something into fruition, bring it into life. What else? Yeah, healing from the past. I wanted to flip out. Um... I think all of those cups coming out initially when this person shows back up in your life is to help you heal. Yes, yeah, to help you heal, not go back to this person. Yeah, family changes. Some of you could be moving. You did move, move in and out. I don't know. Someone's leaving um, the home. There's some significant changes happening within your family dynamic. It just doesn't affect you, but it affects your family as a whole. Some of you are embarking on a new career. You have a lot of things you need to do. There needs to be some research done in terms of moving forward in this new career. I'm going to pull some um, angels in your biz card. So this just talks about um, business and career. Let's see, some of you are expecting um, with the family changes card. Let's see, angels in your biz. What do we have to tell the Aquarius? Whoa, those cards flipped out. Okay, to tell the Aquarius. Wow, you're on fire. Everything is working exactly as planned. Look, you may be saying, oh, this is a lot. I'm doing a lot. 
Am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? You're questioning yourself, but, but slow down, especially if you're a feminine energy or you're working in your feminine energy. That means you're creating right now. Um, you're on fire. Okay, keep at it. Plan it out. I, told, I just said that. Write it down. Plan it out. Do some research. It's time to get more serious. Get it out of your head. You can't say, I want to start a business. And the business plan is all up in your head. You have to get that on paper. You have to make sure it makes sense. You have to have somebody else trust it to look at it, to look over it. You have to look at figures. You have to do all of this stuff if you want to be successful. Now, if you just want to jump into something, by way, go ahead. Um, I don't. I don't wish any negative on you, but you know those who um, plan. You know, if you plan, plan to. Um, Failure to plan is a plan to fail, okay? Right? Something like that. So plan it out. Get more serious. Uh, don't just keep talking about it. Don't just have it swirling in your mind. Get it on some paper. Every time you have a thought, have your journal. Have your book. Write it down. Go back to what you wrote down. You know, this is a... Um, you know, exercise for you, write something down now, go back to it months later and see, wow, that actually came true or it's coming true. Support. Your angels are here for you now and forever. You do have support. They're supporting you. They're lining things up. Wow. As I say, now look at the bottom of the deck, aligned action. Don't delay. Act now. Okay. It's like, if I, if I run a bath for you, Make it all nice, bubbles, rose petals, whatever, S essential oils. You need to get in that bath soon or it's going to be cold water with no bubbles and just soggy. You know, so you need to take action now. If somebody sets the stage for you, if your angels are moving obstacles out of your way, putting the right people in your on your path, in your path, align yourself. Don't just sit and don't delay do what you can do to bring your dreams, your business, your whatever into fruition. For it is on you to do the possible. It's for God to do the impossible. So if it's possible, you need to get moving on it. All right. So um, I guess we'll go here. Let's see. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? We'll close this out here. What does Aquarius need to know? Wow, business came out. People in your business, you need to be focused more on business, the business of you getting things in order. Wishful thinking will not allow for any change. You have to be the change. Put in others before you, so you put in other things before what it is you say you really want that's that's stunting your growth okay um if you're trying to get something uh done if you're trying to have success in something you need to be laser focused on it people may be upset that you can't hang out and that you can't do and you can't go and you're not spending right now or you're saving or you're putting your money here doesn't matter wow complacent in reverse get out of being complacent I have a job. I go to the job. I work my job. I get paid on Friday. Oh, but I want to start a business. Oh, but here comes Monday. I go to work. I work my job. I come home. You're just complacent. You have all these ideas, but you're not moving on anything. You have to take the necessary steps. Okay. Um, come out of complacency. The best thing to help people come out of complacency is change. Let them change your uh, rate of pay. Let them change your hours. Oh, you come out of that real quick. Well, I can't make this shit up. Not making any moves. Some of you just not making any moves. This is what you need to know. Yeah, this is what we're asking the card. So it's like the universe is saying, look, we're lining things up. You said you wanted to do this. You said you wanted to do this or go there or have this or have this relationship, or whatever. Like we can't do it for you, but we can make it. Yeah. Some of you are just. Uh, miserable you know um, you're saying that you're miserable in this relationship or this house or whatever it may be but you're not taking any action you could be bored some of you are miserable miserable at your job and you're bored with what you do now but you, you become complacent you need to change that energy 
maybe some people you work with are rude. You're going to you're in for a rude awakening, Aquarius. Um, this came in in the reverse. Your body is perfect. Maybe it is not. You need to make be, come in for a rude awakening. Maybe during the spring and summertime that you need to work on yourself. You also need to work on your body of work. I don't know if you do something, if you do something creative, you may get a critic, you know, a trusted critic may give you some constructive criticism it may be a rude awakening for you but don't cower down don't get emotional say thank you think about it work on it make necessary changes if you feel moved to do so Aquarius you got big money coming in for you and uh, if it sounds like a lie it's probably a lie if someone is overselling themselves overselling something um, if they're trying to force you if it sounds too good to be true, then it's probably a lie. All right. This is what they want you to know. This is also love bombing. Somebody could want to come back to you because um, they know you got money or you're coming into money. They want a piece of it. They want some of it or all of it. Let's see. You need to finish something here. You need to allow for it to be finished. You got that maybe coming out again and make a rational decision about maybe a person place their thing. Set your necessary boundaries with a particular person. I can't talk after 8 p.m. Sorry. Maybe you're working on your business plan. You're working on yourself. You're working out. Uh, you're eating better. I can't eat after 8 p.m. Set boundaries, restrictions for yourself. Wow. So that you can have growth. You can see the magic happen within yourself, within your life. Stop saying it just costs too much, whether it's money or devotion or commitment. You don't want to be committed to it. This is too much. It's too much. You know, come on, come out of that. You might tell somebody maybe, and then you just might ghost them. Like it, you just can't deal. It does cost too much for you to deal with them. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. This big money and this business is coming out a lot for you, Aquarius. Let's put our money bags down in the comment section because that's what we really focused on. Some of you might be in for a rude awakening or you may be giving someone the rude awakening that you're good, that it is a, a maybe and then it's a whole ghosting situation. Um, someone could be coming back because they, they see where you're going and they want to be a part of it. Do know that the universe supports you in every single way. You have aligned action. The universe is aligned things for you. Um, don't delay. Move forward on this. Uh, what else do we have? You're on fire. Some of you are doing the work and you're on fire. Continue. Get some rest. Take some time that does something that relaxes you or you get to a place of inertia. Turn the phone off. Turn your mind off. You can do that for a little bit. Just turn it off. You'll get back on it because you're on fire. Um, get your own personal reading at the website level. Again, discount codes are at the community tab on YouTube. And then you get your code and then you hop over to the website and book your reading. Take advantage. Um, thank you, Aquarius. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30, 8.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I do a collective reading and then um, I answer your questions. So take advantage of that. Thank you, Aquarius, again. Many blessings to you. Take care.